Morning guys, Martin Williams here, uh, suffering a bit as you can see with a cabin fever, it's getting to me a little bit now, struggling a bit but uh, we're going to do some tying today for you, uh, we're going to tie a snake pattern and I might just have to take my psycho mask off because I can't actually see you. <laughs> right, that's better. Whew. Cabin fever is better now. So we're going to tie a snake today for you. White snake, okay, time consuming to tie, but a good effective fly for pulling uh, intermediate and sinking lines. So let's get started. So back up first, okay. We've got a size 10. B175. So first, yes, get a, a body of whipping on there. I've got some white, heavy thread, and we've got to put some braid on there, which joins the two hooks together. So what I've got here, okay, it's just some some gel spun back in or some braid, okay. So we feed that through the eye, okay. So now I'm going to whip that on. Some people tie it direct to the eye. I just think this is a bit of a neater job. So what I'm doing, I'm just covering this all the way down. Okay. So then to stop it pulling back out, this tail end, I pull back over the top. and I start whipping up there as well. So I don't want to go all the way to the end, so about halfway. Okay. So that's joined this braid now, okay, to the back hook. So what I do now, okay, I'm just gonna tie this off. Just do a little whip finish, just only a little slight one. So right, we've made a snip there. All right, so what I normally do now, I won't do one of these. I'll, I'll, I'll do a batch of perhaps 50 and I'll put them all together. So what I got now, I just got my needle, a little bit of varnish, okay? And what I do, I just rub a little bit of varnish on there. And I would let them all dry. Okay, so that's the back hook connected with some braided backing line, gel spun they call it, not the old fashioned um, hollow braid, it's too thick, but this is some braided gel, uh, sorry, some gel spun backing. So I'm just gonna sit that down, lay, let that dry. Now on the front hook, I've got a nice chunky size eight. And this is a mustard pattern, but it's real strong. It's a mustard nymph hook size eight. So what I want to do now, I want to connect a bead on the front. Okay, so let's just put a layer of thread. And what I've got, I've got a big chain bead, okay, which I've painted green. So we lay this on the top, okay. And I lock it in position with about five, six, seven turns. Then the other way, okay. and then the other way, and then like a figure of eight as if you was tying, or as if you was putting a, um, a boat on a mooring and wrapping the mooring rope round a cleat. So that's done. All right. So what I'm going to do on that one, again, I'm going to tie that off, snip that, okay. And then I'm going to get my varnish and I'm just going to put a little bit of a little bit of varnish on there, a little bit underneath as well. So straighten that up a little bit. So we've got a, a size 8 
Okay. With some, with a green twin eye on, green twin eyes I paint myself. Okay. So we let that one dry. Okay. So now let's start. I got some white Zonka strip there, which I've cut. You, you don't want it too long. This, I will give you a rough idea. This is about 65 centimeters. Okay. So we'll get the back hook. There's the back hook now. Okay. We done first. What I'm going to do first is going to get the, get the cotton back on there. Right. Down to the back of the hook. What I like to do on my white type of cat's whisker. This is a bit of fluorescent green um, or chartreuse zonka. I just like to get a little piece of this, not too much. So I've just got a little pinch of green, okay? And I just like this, just on the back, okay? Just that it's going to be underneath the white. So I'm just going to whip that down. Okay, so there we are. I've got a little green tuft at the back of the snake, a little target spot of very soft green zonka. Okay, so now this is the the main part. Okay, what we need to do now is just peel the white fur back very close to the end, just so I can see the skin. And I'm just going to lay that on top, okay, which is just over the top of the green, okay. And when I go round with the cotton now, I'm not going to trap any of the soft white rabbit fibers because I've got the gap there okay where the skin is exposed so go round one two three four five six it's a very strong thread that okay so I see I can pull that back over the top now and there's no gap at all so fold that back now make a couple of turns going towards the front of the book don't go too close, okay. Just going to tilt that hook back slightly a bit. There we are, okay. So, what I want to do now is secure the zonka strip down again towards the front. So, again, I get my, I get my scissors this time and I just part the soft white zonka again so I can see the skin, okay, and I trap that down. Sometimes it's handy to wet it, stop all those little fibres. And again one, some real tight turns. I fold it back again and I can see towards the front the eye of the hook. And I'm just going to put a couple of turns there. Just going to tilt it back a little bit. And I'm going to get my whip finish tool and I'm going to tie off There. That was only two turns. I'm just going to do another couple there. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm just going to snip that off now. There. Put my varnish lid back on before I forget. So there we are. So that's connecting the Zonka strip to the back hook. Okay. So there we are. You can see, look, there's no gaps. I've got that nice little green tag underneath. Okay. So what we've got to do now, we've got to connect this to the front hook. Okay. I will later on put a couple of spots of varnish under there as well, stop anything coming apart under there. So we'll get 
our front up, the size 8. Okay. My white cotton, strong white cotton. There we go. Put that back on. So just going to come down just so there's a bed of white cotton and then come halfway back up. Okay. So we've got to connect this now to this. Okay. So what we need to do now is thread this braid underneath and through the eye. Okay. And I've got to connect that then, whip that down. But what we need to do first is just measure that I've got enough length here because if I pulled it say for example that far whipped it all down made a lovely job this is not going to get this it's uh, too far away it's too short okay so I'm going to pull that back a little bit okay and just give myself a little bit of extra okay like that so I've got eight, the two ends here now Do, 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 good time, never seem so good. Right, so I whip that down there nice and strong. And again, I'm just going to come down a little bit further. I try to keep this braid, okay, on the top of the hook. I don't want it sliding down, okay, the top which is connected to the, the actual back hook, okay. So that's, I always want to make sure that's on the top of the hook. Now with our tail end now, okay. Again, to stop that pulling out, I'm going to pull that back up and I'm going to whip that back up so there's no possible way that can come out. Okay, I'm just going to snip that off. Okay, and then tidy that up. So that's trapped, it's gone through, it's gone back and through again, and I whipped that out and held that all out. Okay, so there's no way that's, that's coming apart. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is bring this one over and connect it to the front. Okay, so again now we're at the back of the hook here now. So I just want to part, part the zonker again. Sometimes it takes a couple of turns to get it in the right position. Now important now, we want the pressure on the braid don't want the pressure on the rabbit skin because that could snap the braid's not going to snap it's actually 50 pound gel spun okay so we just want a little bit of slack so there's the braid taut and I just want a tiny little bit of slack in the zonker which I got there so that's great and I'm going to whip that down now again I can see the skin. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's really tight. So the braid's nice and tight. Okay, but I've got just a little bit of slack. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, pull that forward. So we virtually now come to, we're coming towards the end. I can see the body of the front hook. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some pearl mirage tinsel it's broad it's a large snip a little bit of that off tie that on towards the back where i've tied the zonka strip on okay i brought the thread back up towards the eyes so what i'm going to do now is just wind that up the body and to make it look fancy I'm going to figure of eight it through the eyes and what I've done now I've covered the braid that's gone over the top okay and tie that down just behind the eye and snip that off okay what I'm going to do now I'm just going to put a little single turn in there just a single knot there we are, just in case when I'm fiddling around with this that it comes undone, all right, just to hold it in position. So finally now we're bringing this last piece of Zonka strip over the body, again, parting the soft white rabbit fur, okay, so I've exposed now the skin again, and I've got a little bit to spare, look, about five or ten mil there, so we're whipping that down. 
make sure that's nice and neat. That's great that one. Again, that's really tight now. Very, very pointy pair of scissors. There we are. Snip that off. So I'm just going to tidy this up now. Just tighten down on the bit of skin that's showing. And then just to finish it off, just to make it look tidy now. I got a little bit more white, just a little bit of white uh, zonka right off, off another strip. Okay, just a little bit, just sort of blend it all together. And just to tidy it up, I just dub that on. Like that, okay. It's a bit of dubbing now on there, and I just wind that round. There we are, and that finishes that off. Lovely. So I'm just going to get my whip finish tool. One, two, three, four. I'm using white thread with the white, so there's no black thread showing through, so it's nice and neat and tidy and snip that off so there we go just a final finish now with a bit of varnish okay that's looking great that one so got my varnish so just underneath where I would normally tie off a tiny tiny spot at the back of the body where I tied the uh, zonker on and then, like I said, at the back, at the back, a little bit of varnish. And I tend to run that all down that thread, which is underneath, making sure I don't get it to go on the fur. So there we are, guys. There we are. There is a stunning white snake it's got a little green target spot at the back it's got nice green dumbbell eyes with a bit of pearl in the middle there we are all right so uh that's our bit of fly time for the day guys hope you're staying safe and um yeah guys any questions come back to me by all means all right and don't forget to keep sending those uh, your own choices of colors and materials to tie uh, your own choice of flies I'll tie them for you and I'll varnish them up and we'll show them on Facebook all right but there we are there's a really nice cat's whisker snake all right guys stay safe and I will probably speak to you tomorrow <laughs>